The Lost Wand Wizard Wizzo was in a terrible state. He had lost his wand. He remembered he had it on Monday because he had used it to do his weekly wash. But by the time the washing had hung itself neatly on the line to dry, the wand was nowhere to be seen. On Saturday it was the King's birthday and Wizzo had been commanded to put on a special magic show. Now what was it he had to do? He simply couldn't remember where he had put his wand. Oh dear, he sighed, where is my wand? I may be a little absent-minded, but I've never lost my wand before. Well, I'll go to the village, perhaps someone there has found it. Still sighing, he went out of the front door, quite forgetting to lock it. This was just the chance that Bulgo the dragon had been waiting for. How he wished that he could be a wizard, perhaps he could learn a little magic while wizard was out. He opened the door and went in. First, that naughty dragon found some jars of magic paint. He tried a little on the tip of his tail. At once, fireworks flashed and banged from the dab of paint. Ow! He howled, rushing round and sending jars and boxes flying in all directions. As they fell open, all sorts of strange things happened. Frogs hopped up and down in the sink. Pink mice in silver skirts danced on the kitchen table and mischievous elves ran around taking food out of the cupboards and saucepans from the shelves. What fun, giggled the naughty elves. We shall have a fine feast. Oh dear, Bungo Will, stop it all of you, go away. But the mice kept dancing, the frogs kept leaping and the elves were busy frying eggs and bacon. All the while, rockets and warm and candles wisdom whooshed from the frightened little dragon's tail. Suddenly the door flew open. Wizzo stood there amazed. What's going on, he cried. Who has been meddling? Then he saw Bulgo, who was trying to hide up the chimney. Come down at once, the wizard roared. Please, sir, Bulgo said, crying. I only wanted to try a little magic. I would so love to be a wizard like you. Be a wizard, exclaimed the angry wizard. Not in a thousand years. Look at the mess you've made. Go home. Took off a shoe and threw it at the little dragon. As he did so, something flew out of the shoe and landed in the sink. At once the frogs disappeared. Bless my soul, Wizzo cried. It's my wand. Well done, Bungo. He smiled as he waved the wand at the queen in order again. Now I can do the magic show for the king's birthday, and you will help me. You shall come here every day too and learn to be a wizard. How the king and all the people cheered the magic show on Saturday. And what a proud and happy dragon Bungo was.